Q Season 2, Episode 12. Feels like we were about to start the tournament. Is this it? Are we starting? I see our flag over there. It's always so interesting seeing Karasuno from other people's perspectives. They look so intimidating. They look really focused. That's all about to change. Sugi's about to get his moment. <laughs> they look so terrifying. More importantly, yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering how they're feeling going into this game after that kind of shaky exhibition arc. Yeah, even I've learned that word from watching this show. This is nerves, yeah. And I don't blame them. <laughs> what a relief. <laughs> That's character growth. And there goes that that image. There goes that illusion of fear and strength. They really just blew the, the element of intimidation. But they'll make it up with victory. I've said this before watching this show, but I honestly feel like this is a part of my life that I missed. Part of natural human experience that probably never get to experience in sports format. The closest I ever got was a, a an official... Official? beer pong tournament and i won and it was really thrilling but uh yeah it's i wouldn't quite put that at this level there was no real character arc there <laughs> but thankfully there were also no hill sprints so it's a net net neutral episode 12 let the day begin with a p song i i can't please no more <laughs> no more names Ouch, ouch, ouch. The pain. Get revenge, Minata. I mean, we've learned one thing from March comes in like a lion. He's gonna look at your opponent's face. Uh, and he's really looking, staring. And not shy away from that one at all. But you can't just expect to blast through anyone. Each game matters. Let the volleyball speak for itself. Uh, so much for that peaceful nature he was exuding. Okay. Yeah, I feel the fear. Also, your sign looks stupid. Everyone is my enemy until victory. <laughs> Oof. But you're undoubtedly better than before. Yeah, there we go. It's a great speech. Use it. Really? I did not. It's an odd rule. Yep, well said. Yep, it's sports. It's part of the beauty of it. I feel so much anxiety for them. But I also know that the greatest anxiety exists in the time before the thing starts. A couple of sets will probably get their head on straight. But yeah, they, they probably need something. You know, they need something to go right. They've proven me wrong time and time again in the show because of their superhuman ability to just focus and like will themselves to play better in victory. But just as a human, I always expect or fear like a spiral if things start to go wrong. Like we saw from a certain character in the exhibition arc on the other team. Nice serve. Jump serve. Nice jump serve. That was a really key lesson. There we go. Damn, that's what I was looking for. There's a taste. Speaking of which. <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah. Felt good. Oh man, it couldn't have sorted any better. So perfect. Oh yeah. Looks like I might not need to learn their names after all. Damn, Daichi. Just read that. Yeah, I mean, they played eight, like 80 games, right? Their reading has, got, has gotten so much better. Their, their court intelligence has gone way up. Right. Oh, great teams, yeah. Basically. 
They scavenged a lot of new skills. Oh man, this feels so good. <laughs> I know this can't last, but I'm enjoying it while it does. Too bad. No, don't flash back and make this sympathetic. Not now. <laughs> I'm enjoying this crushing defeat. Why do they gotta do this to me every time? Oh no, he just gave up? Oh no, he defeated himself. Oh. Alright, here come the feelings. <laughs> oh wow. Whoa, that doesn't feel good, does it? Uh, I'm guessing it's the third year, right? He's leaving. He's still positive and nice to them, despite the fact that he was giving away more. <laughs> and then there are the waterworks. Honestly, it takes a lot. I mean, credit to him for putting on that face. Yeah, but a sympathetic backstory doesn't necessarily score you points. He said that without blinking. Now he meant it. And he's worked for it. He did not say that with a lot of conviction. Yeah, yeah. I mean, while the coach was not really confident in that same message, it does feel right. I mean, it feels 100% right. I think the real long-lasting pain is not the failure, but the feeling that you shied away from doing what you knew you could do because you talked yourself out of the possibility of believing in yourself. It's not the lack of success as much as it is the, the cut corners, places where you feel you compromised what you believed in or what you wanted to believe in. Yeah, the loss stings, but it's the compromise of let's call it self-integrity, personal integrity, that really hurts and sticks with you. There's that famous quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's more than just a statement on trying. It also means that you lose an opportunity. You miss a chance to gain something within yourself by not seizing a moment when you have it. <laughs> the poetic way to end this would be him diving for a save. The one he blew in the flashback. No, but I like the spirit. Yeah, they're, they're right there. They got that same energy. It's still two games to win, right? Yeah, you can tell the third years get a lot from the, the first years as well. They have new life, new energy. They believe again. Oh, look at little Daichi, he's so cute. A little Asahi, I didn't recognize him. Yeah, they're resilient as hell. Point game. Here it is. Here's the here it is. The poetic dive. You're gonna die for it. Nah, I don't buy it. Fake out. He's diving. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Damn, we took out the whole water stand with him. It's a very meaningful one point for them. And now you can lose. <laughs> Honestly, that, that animation is terrifying from Pinata. <laughs> this shot also terrifying. Better luck next year. <laughs> okay, now I can love them. This is officially over. Uh, that made it, that was just way better than I could have hoped for. Definitely made a statement, most importantly to ourselves. I say ourselves because as we all know, I'm part of this team. <laughs> What a great way to, like, do this arc in an episode. Yeah. Such a salient point. From a team that didn't last very long. Winners and losers. Made me more frustrated. 
日で忘れるやつは弱いままだからな高校の3年間なんてもたもたしてたらあっという間に終わっちゃうからな忘れんなよ<笑>ありがとうございました I can just feel, like, I just feel a subtle difference in how they're gonna think about this game in years to come. It'll feel better to them. They'll be prouder of it, despite the loss. Could that be a Suki matchup? What? <laughs> She's noticing Tanaka for what that's worth. Yeah, I've seen taller. That was me in the first tournament. She is me. He's just one player. Oh, he's matched up with Hinata. Doesn't matter. Tekachu, huh? Right back into it. Barely any chance to rest. It'll depend on their overall skill level as a team, I think. But yeah, it's not gonna hurt him in volleyball. Despite my general terror, based solely on the fact that, that it's an elimination tournament, as a setup, the height thing worries me the least, or very low on the scale of other setups we've seen in the past. I mean, I know it gives you a huge edge in volleyball, but again, he's one player, and also just playing sports. I've seen plenty of people who have the physical build that gives them an advantage that just don't play very well, or at the very least are outplayed by people with fewer physical advantages just based on a level of talent. And I feel like that's that maybe even is especially true at this level. This may not be an appropriate comparison, because I don't really play volleyball, so I don't know how accurate it is, but from playing basketball, I can tell you, I've been beaten enough times by people way shorter than me to not think of height as like the factor. I really love this episode and it was way more than I was expecting. It's interesting that despite all the, the fear that the show's kind of built up, yeah, I was focused on Karasuno, of course, and their victory was really key and felt really good to me. And it's very reassuring and what I wanted to see in my heart. But still, it actually felt like a lot of the heart was about the other team who seems like we're only going to see for this episode, at least for now. But I think they handled it really well. As far as like, you know, focusing on just a random opponent and getting something out of it, it covered some familiar ground but just hit my heartstrings in, in the right way. I feel like, again, with the show, it's it's correct. Like, it feels right. I feel like that team, despite their loss, hit on something that was more important than the actual game itself. And I think from experience, like I said, they're going to come away reflecting on it that way. They're going to have that recollection of this game as a positive experience overall, because they went for it. The negative feelings they're going to have are what the captain was alluding to and what some of the players were alluding to, which is that they, they're they aware they didn't train more, right? That's the things that cause you the most pain. Those sting because they're more like an existential issue. They're more of a, a you problem. It's a more personal disappointment but as the the captain astutely pointed out it's only a loss if they don't take that energy and apply it to their future endeavors whether that's volleyball or, or anything else so it ends up being a great episode they end up being really likable and i can actually care about them especially after they're out of the running and no longer a threat which is the only time i can ever love a karasuno opponent <laughs>